It is your Ryan Report right here on the People Station V103 on your Thanksgiving Eve being brought to you by Kia. Hurry in during Kia's fall savings time event happening now. Visit KiaDealers.com to learn more information. All right, let's start off with Rihanna. She's a force. She is you know, a force. When she returned to Barbados, she was driving down the street and saw that all of her gear was being sold on Swan Street. Uh-oh. And she was like, wait a minute, why is my stuff being sold in Swan Street? Then Puma sends a rep there to find out what is going on, checked it, and then made a police report and found out who was behind this. Rihanna's cousin. Wait, her cousin? Leroy. <laughs> that is funny by itself that Rihanna's cousin Leroy has been charged with selling knockoffs from his own niece and her Puma line. He appeared in court yesterday. He pled not guilty. He also denied in trade or commerce he engaged in conduct to exploit her goods, bringing the trademark known as Puma, which would mislead the public as to the nature of the goods. Slippers and shirts. <laughs> Your cousin. I ain't trying to laugh, but that's funny. Because that's us. <laughs> that's us like a mug, right? <laughs> I, and I and I tell you, when you go on, on those island trips and you know you go into the little stores, Rihanna has the number one, two, and three international fra- fragrances. Yeah, so she, she does. is on ten, doing her thing. She got that money. So watch out, cousin Leroy. You wrong. That's hilarious, though. All right. Uh, in other entertainment news, uh, you know, Sister Circle is is filmed here. Our girl with Sean Ali on there, Keanu Dan yep. is on there. Shout out, lady. Shout you out. Know, doing their thing. Uh, they had uh, Tamar and the Braxton mom, Evelyn Braxton on, who says uh, not she's not she's doubling down on the claims that Vince was abusive. I'll let her tell it. She said that fight that they had that was you know here in Atlanta. She said the fight made her think the elevator was falling. One night I got up, I heard all of this noise. I thought the elevator was falling out of, out of its socket. So I ran into the kitchen and I'm like, what is going on for God's sakes? And he was abusing her. And she was trying to run, she was trying to get away. And I spoke to him My about God. it. I said, no, 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 this is not what we do. And he turned on me. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, mm-hmm. uh-uh, uh-uh. So I ran back to my room because the baby was in the bed with of me. Course. I was very much afraid for the baby because mm-hmm. his whole demeanor had Oh changed. my God, demeanor. Oh God. And I put a chair behind the door. So I barricaded room. myself in the room and held that baby all night long. That that's no way, no for way for anyone to live. Whoa. Mm. It just got real. Barricading the door. That's a lot of fear. You know, you don't have that kind of fear for no reason. That's that's unfortunate. All right. Wow. All right, let's move on to yeah. the next thing. Uh, 21 Savage. 21 Savage did something. And a lot of people are talking about it. And I was on uh, Twitter and Instagram yesterday and saw. So you know Mad Skills. You know who Mad Skills yep. is. He does mm-hmm. the wrap ups every year. Yep. Very creative dude. Well, he said something about the new generation of rap, right? He said, and I quote, the generation gap on the music is actually really simple. We were in an era making drug dealer music. These kids are making drug user music, end quote. So 21 Savage responded to it. And he went and he said, quote, why do so many of these OG rappers judge the new generation? They say we make drug user music like making drug selling music is better. What's the difference? What about the fact that rap is the number one genre of music right now? Ain't none of y'all acknowledging that. And I was like, yo, that's a good point. Then I saw that T.I. responded to him. And T.I. said, quote, little bro speaking real truth, though. Fact of the matter is there's been good, bad, great, mediocre artists and otherwise in every generation, even ours. The founding era and the golden era of the 90s. They're not the only generation to make user music either. And then he said, regardless of the subject matter, this is daytime. Couldn't nobody tell us how to run ours or make us sound how they thought we should? Live your life and do your stuff, young and end quote. And that come from T.I. And a lot of other people were weighing in, too. Like, that was a very profound statement that Tony and Savage made, but it's getting a lot of response. Well, that's what T.I. said. But you know what Tip said? What Tip say? Well, I feel the colloquialism <laughs> of the vernacular of the young entertainment want to be rising star is that the Pythagorean theory Boy, of those who have also decided to be a lyricist 
and yet digress sometimes to the vernacular of those who are not as we say vocabulary enhanced oh, okay so to that savage of the 21 i say salute hashtag v103 tabernacle and if you don't know now you know you know, come, you know, come, you know. the riot report the riot report v103